Hello, welcome to Romero Threads on YouTube where it's all about embroidery. In today's video, I am going to dissect and analyze the New York Yankee hat. All right, so we have a fresh, brand new, straight out the box. So this is a 5950. I'll kind of put this here. So we got an authentic New York Yankee hat. What I want to do today is nice and carefully I want to dissect the New York Yankee hat and check out all of our underlays, all of the small little details that's right below our stitches. This looks very clean, very sharp. Okay, so let's see this. All right, but what I want to see is I want to go ahead and dissect it, reverse engineer, and then we're going to analyze the method, how they went about creating these stitches. This is what we see. This is the final product that we see. As embroiderers, we know there's a lot of behind the scenes happening here. So let's go ahead and let's carefully cut our stitches. So I have a brand new clean blade right here. All right, so this is gonna cut nice, nice and simple. Let me precision myself. Let me see, let me get a good view for you. Nice and easy. All right, we got a good cut there. Check this out just so we can see what's right below this. Okay, so, so far, let's analyze this. Okay, we got that initial cut. All right, I'm gonna clean up this area right here. Quick little buzz here. There's something that I'm noticing, but I want to confirm once I cut this off here. So right away when I cut this layer, so I noticed that I didn't see the foam right away. Okay, so it looks like I cut one layer and then there's still another layer of thread right below that. Okay, so it looks like they, they probably went a double run. All right, so, so far, let me see. We can't see the foam yet. Okay, so what it looks like, it looks like we have a layer of sand stitches on top of sand stitches. So let me go ahead. Let me give it another another round of cuts. Now while I'm cutting this one here, I can now see the foam. All right, so, so far, I'm gonna also take a picture of this so we could get a better look. But for right now, you can see our running stitches here. And then you can see our capping here at the corners. You can see a lot of little small techniques that they use in order to keep that foam nice and tight plugged in right here. All right, so I think you could see it right here. All right, so far here, you can see this bridge. All right, we do have a bridge here. Here the end, so I can see this nice clean taper down here. Okay, and here it's kind of pushing in. So I'm gonna clean it up and then we're gonna take a picture and analyze this very, very closely. These here are the bones of our 3D puff, all right? This is all what's underneath. This is the stuff that we don't see. So, so far what I've noticed, okay? It had like two layers of sand stitches, okay? It had one, when I cut it off, there was still sand stitches be below the sand stitches on top. So that's why I think you get this nice bold look on the Yankee logo. Here you can kind of see where we taper in, okay? And you see these bridges here. It's kind of like a cap slash a bridge. All right, here we see our caps. We see our capping here, okay? Very traditional type capping. See that? We have our capping here. So here we got our capping also, okay? Once I, once I take a picture and I could zoom in, all right, we're gonna get more information right here. Let me clean it up a bit before I take this picture. What I might do here eventually is just remove the New York logo and then add the LA logo right there because that would look fresh. I went ahead and took pictures of our hat. So this is right before I cut it up. Okay, so here's a good view of how it looks. Super zoomed in. 
right? So a lot of times, if you take a picture and you zoom in, then you could get a good look and see exactly the directions of our stitches. You could kind of have an idea how we have stitches on top of stitches, all right? And here at these corners up here, you could see some of the capping that I'm about to show you right now. It's always a good look to see what's on top, the angles of our stitches, and then what's right below that. All right, so this was as soon as I cleaned it. Okay, here, now we can see what's underneath our stitches. So you can see here, let me kind of adjust this color here a bit. Okay, I could make it a little brighter. Um, let me bring the highlights down a bit just so you can see. All right, just so you can see our stitches a little bit more clear. Let me mess with the shadows here. Okay, so here now we kind of have a, a little view of what's underneath and you can see the capping here with our walking stitches coming here. All right, you kind of see what's underneath and then I took it another level. All right, so that's here and then I cleaned it up a little bit more. Okay, so let me zoom in right here. Actually, let me open this up right here. All right, now this is a real good view on these long corners here. You can see we have capping. Okay, and really the NY, it's like a mirrored, it's a mirrored logo. Okay, so whatever is happening on one side is happening on the other side. Here you can get an idea of how they designed it. All right, so what I'm focused on is the capping. And what I want to do, I want to make a part two where I'm digitizing it and recreating this logo. All right. Of course, you can always recreate it. I've seen people recreate it um, with no problem. Okay, but there's always little details that you can find that's never, never the same. But here, you kind of get an idea of how they go about getting that nice, clean coverage. All right, this is a, a different angle here. And then here, I started kind of breaking it apart. So here, I actually started breaking up the phone apart. And I didn't want to destroy my hat. All right, I'm just taking off the design here. All right, and then after that, just remove all, all the foam here. And here, what I'm looking at here, okay, everywhere you see this uh, dense stitching here, like on the ends, that's where our capping was located, okay? Uh, this is kind of like the silhouette of our whole design here. All right, even though it looks like there's not much information here since I removed everything, you can kind of see where they overlapped, okay? So here, kind of like on the end, the left side of the end, you can see how what what's overlapping what. And with all this information that I got right here, okay, it doesn't seem like much, but I did get a lot of info. I see where the overlapping is here. Okay, you could kind of see how it's kind of densed in the middle. A lot of moving pieces here in the middle. You could kind of get an idea of how it was digitized. All right. So with all that information, starting back from the beginning. All right. So we're going in reverse. Reverse engineering this. So this is how we start. Okay. This is the final product here. All right. So we got a lot of good information by cutting it up. Okay. So we kind of see how everything is being played out here until we get to here so i'm definitely going to make a part two where i am recreating the logo and digitizing it and stitching it out onto a hat okay and of course i'll put it up for free download too once i design that all right so be on the lookout for that one all right so i want to thank you for hanging out today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out